Hi my friends, this is Marty Ware. How you going? And I'm from the Potted Vegetable Garden. Today I want to talk about repotting container plants. Yes, and this can be used for any type of container plant, uh, this method. And so what am I going to discuss today? Well, I'm going to discuss about the best time of day, size, size of the container, seedlings, and types of potting mixes, the good and the bad, and compost. Okay, so let's get into it. The best time of day. Yes, the best time of day to repot any type of container plant would be in the coolest part of the day. Now, if you live in a very cool region, then you could probably do it all day long. But if you live in a more hot area or where the summers get extremely hot, you would need to do it in the night time or in the evening. Uh, early morning is not always as good because if it gets hot and then the sun comes on it through the day, uh, it could not wouldn't benefit the plant so much so what I recommend if you have to do that is place it in the shade in a nice shady cool spot for a few days once the roots start to grow and the plant starts to come back to health then put bring it back into the Sun slowly okay the size of the container well this depends on whether you're transplanting a seedling or a large plant so usually come up about oh, double the size of what you normally have if you just produce bringing up seedlings such as tomatoes, then I recommend you put your tomato seedlings straight into a large container. This is going to save you having to transplant it on and save root shock. Right, seedlings. Okay, seedlings. We've covered seedlings for tomatoes, but when you are transplanting seedlings, certain types certain types of plants like to have their root uh, root bound, such as orchids and things. So. You need to do some more research on that, but generally what I like to do is either self-sow straight into the pot so they sprout in the pot, or bring them up in small seedling containers and then transplant them on once they get to about two or three inches high, so they've got their third or fourth, fourth lot of leaves coming through. The types of potting mix, well there's some real cheapies out there and I just advise you to <laughs> leave them alone. Go for a mid-range too expensive potting mix and a brand that you trust and know that has worked before. Another way that I like to use is use a mid-range potting mix and buy a nice big bag of compost and mix them both together. This saves me money and I know that I'm getting a lot of value from it and the plants are getting the nutrition that they need from the compost. Okay, so that's it. We've covered repotting container plants. We've recovered the best time of days. I hope you enjoyed that video and listen if you're after more information about growing food at home come and see us at the Potted Vegetable Garden. Just go to your browser and type in www.pottedvegetablegarden.com and also please remember to subscribe to my videos if you like them because there's more on the way. Click the like button and leave a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. So we'll see you soon at the Pot of Vegetable Garden. And Karen's going to say goodbye too. Say bye, Karen. Bye. <laughs> see you soon. Okay, happy gardening, guys. And we'll see you at the next video. Have a great day. Bye.